Hi, it's me, Daniel. It's Cat's Incredible. Hello. If you're watching this video on the YouTube, it's going to be a little bit weird because it's it's not made. It's not you're not supposed to do that. Uh, it's actually made so that when you're flying around through the cyber virtual installation on the internet that I've made, then you click on little round floating balls, and then parts of this video come up and explain what the fuck's going on. Uh, so if you're not in the magical floating cyberspace world installation of my installation at the Museum of Science and Technology in uh, Oslo, then uh, it's going to be a bit weird. Um, it's okay. You can, if you're here on the internet, it's all right. Don't worry, you can still watch it. Uh, it's just going to be a bit of a weird long series of short demos of the different panels in the installation at the Museum of Science and Technology in Oslo. Uh, if you want to go to the cyberspace virtual tour magical 3D simulation version of it all, then just click in the link in the description underneath. Uh... Okay, bye. Tim. This is Tim. This is a uh, kind of a drum machine that's based on these uh, breadboards with uh, 40106 Heckschmidt trigger inverter chips, which are just really old uh, CMOS chips for computers from the olden days, uh, but that can be easily used to make oscillators. So all these oscillators on here uh, are made by kids uh, during workshops, and then they're all assembled on one of these uh, boxes that basically just gives them electricity to turn them on for a brief second. So this micro bit receives the uh, radio message <coughs> and uh, sends an electric pulse to one of these oscillators which then sends the audio out to the output and you can make beautiful music like this. The interesting thing is that it's really easy to make uh, light sensitive uh, oscillators on this, where, which means that uh, they react to how much light is in the room. synthesizer drum machine. synthesizer which uh, is controlled via MIDI but this MIDI cable comes out of this little receiver box here which receives messages over radio via a micro bit. So the micro bit is receiving radio messages and then sending MIDI messages out to the analog synthesizer. <laughs> Thank you.
Bob. This is Bob. It is a xylophone, but all the notes of the xylophone are kind of spread out on this beautiful tree. Um, and it also has a micro bit right here that receives radio messages and uses those radio messages to decide which electromagnets to turn on, like this. is a polyphonic synthesizer. ZAM is a monophonic synthesizer. is dad. It's a sampler. It's a sampler.
I can record different sounds. I can record different sounds. The sound quality is really great, yeah. The sound quality is really great, yeah. machine. Here's a giant micro bit that can also control the rest of the orchestra. It's got a little sequencer running inside it. Just put the sequencer on this. And it works just the same as an ordinary micro bit. Just that it's big. It even has connecting posts here that you can connect pocket out clips to. We can use this to make some music. Let's make a beat on the drum machine. Let's see. the demo panel. Um.
This is the demo panel. Um. <laughs> 